In this video, I'll show you how to make a fillable PDF using Nitro Pro PDF. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my videos and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider liking this video and sharing it with your friends. I hope that this video is going to help you create fillable PDFs for whatever use you have for them. Now, this is Nitro Pro and this is the interface and uh, this is an alternative to Adobe Acrobat Pro DC LibreDraw, which is free by LibreOffice, and you can check out other tutorials on how to create fillable PDFs uh, above on the card above. So uh, we're going to begin inside Microsoft Word, uh, and inside Microsoft Word, uh, what we need to do is look for just a basic form, and I'm going to use the cash donation form. Just click on it, uh, and then we're going to create uh, the particular form, and uh, this particular form is a Microsoft Word form. It has different fields like first name, last name, uh, check boxes, etc. So uh, this form is good as it is as a sample form to show you how you can make a fillable PDF using Nitro Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, to save this particular file as a PDF file. So we can come up to file, save as Adobe PDF, and then say yes. And then let's say we want to save it in the downloads. Let's say sample for fillable PDF and then click on save. And once we do that, it's now going to prompt us to save it as a PDF file. Uh, you can stri restrict editing if you do not want anyone to change it. But since we want this particular form to be filled by whoever is designated to fill this particular form, then we won't uh, check this particular box and then just click on save. Once we click on save, it's going to be converted to an Adobe PDF. And by default, if you have Adobe uh, Acrobat Reader or Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, then the form is going to open in the default PDF viewer that you have. So uh, let's just close this out. And here's our form. And now we need to navigate to our downloads folder where we have actually saved that particular file. This is the PDF file that we want to convert from a non-fillable PDF to a fillable PDF. So if I right click on it, uh, or just let's start off by just double clicking on it. If I just double click on it, it's going to open up uh, in Microsoft Edge. And if we look at the different fields, they're not uh, clickable, they're not fillable, uh, which is a bummer if you wanted to add any information uh, in this particular section, that is your name, your last name, etc. Now. What if we decide to right click this particular uh, file and edit with Nitro Pro? Now, once that opens up, it's going to open up inside uh, Nitro Pro PDF, uh, the interface, and this is our form. It's still not fillable, but to make it fillable, all we need to do is click on forms, and then there are different options here. We have uh, the select fields, text fields, check, box check boxes, radio buttons, combo box, list box, depending on the way your form looks like. But when we look at this form, it just has uh, a text uh, field and check boxes available. So to make this particular form fillable, we only need the text field. And if I click on it and just come uh, over uh, the section that we need to add uh, a fillable uh, section, just uh, hold your left click and draw until the point that you want to get to. That's the first text box and you can click on it, uh, hold the shift key if you want to adjust it slightly, do whatever you want uh, and then go to the next one. Uh, it's just a repetitive process uh, when you get to this particular point. Uh, just try and make sure that they are inside the particular section that you want them to be. And then the home phone and then the cell phone. And then we have the email. And then we have the section for uh, enclosed in my deductible, tax deductible. You can just make this slightly bigger, hold shift and one section there. And then uh, in this particular section, I would like my donation applied to add, there's a checkbox and a text field. So we can just draw the text field first, uh, draw the second text field. It's more or less of a repetitive process, uh, uh, just drawing these particular boxes. Let's keep going. And then for the checkboxes, we'll need to click on checkbox and then 
draw over the checkbox just like that draw over this other one just like that draw over this other one just like that just like that just like that uh, for this particular section we can also do uh, the text field uh, go with the text field again and then we have another text field and then we have another text field now finally uh, we can do the checkbox again uh, just do the checkbox uh, if you had uh, sections to add signatures then you can put that uh, inside here now if you're satisfied with your results then all you need to do for your new fillable PDF is just come to file save us and let's say we want to save it in the downloads uh, sample for fillable PDF uh, done uh, just click on save it's saved now if we navigate back to our folder let's just refresh we have the new fillable PDF now if I just double click on it it's going to open inside uh, uh, Microsoft Edge again but now you see there's a difference between this particular form which is non-fillable and this new form which has fillable fields that I can input the information that's required so if I put in my name David uh, my last name Mbogua and then my address what uh, whatever uh, your address is how much money let's say uh, you need deducted from your deductibles your phone number and when you come to the section uh, for the checkboxes when you click on it there is a tick that is applied uh, let's say I would like my donation applied to add uh, scholarships uh, let's say food banks uh, whatever uh, you want uh, your donation applied to uh, if you want to keep your donation confidential just check that as well and if you're satisfied with your results then all you need to do is just click on save save the form uh, uh, just let's say we call it field just click on save uh, that's field let's close this out close this out and then if we go to our folder refresh we have a field form if I just double click on it the form is available uh, with all the f with all the fields far uh, field as required so that is how you can easily make a non-fillable PDF form, just a form from Microsoft Word to a just non-fillable PDF to a fillable PDF using Nitro Pro PDF. My name is David. I hope this video has been of value. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching this video.